another blow to big tech. And it's again coming from the European Union. Now, they have approved new copyright reform that charge you money for sharing videos that aren't yours. Not quite sure I understand that one. Let's bring in Tommy Stadlin. Uh, he knows what this is all about, frequent guest on the program. Tommy, explain what the Europeans are doing and why it's so damaging. Great to be back on, Stuart. Well, this is years in the making. The EU has updated or will shortly update copyright laws in Europe, which haven't been updated for some 20 years. And what they're trying to do here is level the playing field between big tech on the one hand, who are taking all the advertising dollars, and traditional media publishers on the other hand, who complain that their content has been taken and monetized without them getting a fair share of the pie. So this will affect people uh, who have newspaper content, uh, video content, whatever it might be. And the idea is that if you're Google or Facebook, you will now have to start licensing that content uh, more effectively than you have been in the past. Uh, it's not going to suddenly redress the balance completely. I think traditional media companies will still face an uphill battle to reinvent themselves, but it is a distinctive move to level the playing field from the EU. Does it change the basic business model of a Facebook or a Google? I don't think it goes that far, Stuart. I think what it does is make them have to do some fairly fiddly uh, technical things to make sure that they are paying their fair share for the content that they're receiving. It might mean, for example, on Google News, who, which your viewers will know well, I, I'm sure, mm -hmm. that they may no longer be able to produce snippets of articles. They might only be able to produce just links. If they do produce those snippets, they'll have to pay for them. So it's, it's marginal. But what it is, I think, is really another indication that big tech is not too big to regulate. A lot of people thought that. Last year, we had the uh, data protection regulation that the EU brought in, where they could charge four or fine 4% 4 of a company's revenues if they breach data protection laws. Now we have this on copyright, and it is a slow drumbeat of regulation that is getting ever louder. And the stocks are down, by the way. Uh, I want to talk to you about Lyft. Their IPO slated this for this Friday, going public. You can buy stock in, uh, in Lyft if that's what you want this Friday. And I, I think you're hot on this. You say it could kick off one of, quote, the greatest years in tech history. Now, that's quite a statement. Go for it. Well, I think, I think that's what we might be seeing here. You know, a lot of people thought that have all these big tech companies stayed private too long? They've missed the bull market. Are we heading for a recession? Well, as we've seen, there's been an amazing start to the year in the public markets. And I think all we need is one of these big tech IPOs to go off well, starting with Lyft this week, perhaps. And then there are so many others. There are literally, there is hundreds of billions of dollars of public market cap that could be created this year when you take into account Lyft, Uber, Pinterest, Palantir, you know, the list goes on. And I think markets are looking for a signal to say these things haven't been overpriced by the private markets. One will go well in the public markets. The rest will follow with confidence. So it really could be a bumper year for technology this year. Oh, that's very exciting, actually. We, we like a little excitement in this marketplace. Tommy, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. Thanks very much indeed, sir. Got it.